saw people doing this trend, so I thought I'd try. A question I get asked a lot is what's the difference between watercolor gouache, acrylic gouache, and acrylic paint? The paint on watercolor and gouache will both reactivate if you put water on it. The only difference between the two is that gouache is more opaque. And then acrylic gouache and acrylic paint do not reactivate with water. So you're probably wondering what the biggest difference is between them. Acrylic paint is a little bit shiny when it dries. Acrylic gouache is completely matte, which is why I like it more. Anyway. One, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I made my ghost transparent, so I thought I'd give a real quick and dirty tutorial for you. So I'm just starting with the dark background color. Also, don't expect this to look nice. It's a very quick tutorial. So basically dark background color, there it is. And then I just mix it with white. That's it. It's that simple. I put the white over where the transparent ghost would overlap the dark background. And that gives the illusion of transparency. Same with this, we'll call it a tree in the background. All right, so dark brown for the tree. It's that simple. Just dark background, mix that dark background with white. Look, there you go, there's the brown. There it is mixed with white. Fill in the part overlapping the dark with the light version. And there it is, the illusion of transparency. Same thing with the red mushroom. Dark red. Fill in the background with the dark color. Oh, this clip's taken longer than I thought. Anyway, dark red. Mix that dark red with white. Look at that. Light red, or as some like to call it, pink. And then you just fill in, look at that, you fill in the overlapping part of the ghost with the lighter version of the background color, and it gives the illusion of transparency. And it really is that simple. Like, it's the exact same thing I used to get this effect. This just looks better because I spent more time on it. I hope that helped. Have you ever wanted to shrink yourself down and explore an object at a different scale? Well, I have. And I think my imagination around stuff like that used to be a lot more active as a child. But I started this photography series a couple of years ago and it's really helped awaken that part of me. So when I do these shoots and I use tiny figurines to make the world seem big, it's a way of putting myself in that world and getting to explore it. Real talk, if you're not yet in a place with your art business journey where you want to be, nobody's going to just hand that to you. You have to reach out and grab it, create it, make what doesn't exist exist. This career path isn't so much about waiting for opportunity as it is more creating opportunity.
Today I will wear my white button down I'm tired of wanting more I think I'm finally worn For you have a way of promising things And I've been a forest fire I recreated this painting I did in 2019 and this is how it went. people ask what's the meaning behind your art why did you make that what's the purpose and I have to be honest it just made me smile <laughs> 